Today's video is brought to you in part by Guns of Boom. Get a little boom in your game. What's up, YouTube? Elric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. Got Mr. Buddy on my lap because he was like just going, let me in this video, Dad. So we had no choice but to let him in that video. Now, you guys all know that the eighth generation processor for Mentel, they're all coming out on October 5th. The NDA will lift so we can bring you guys all the scores for the different stuff that we're going to be doing. Like I told you guys before, I have in-house, I have the brand new 8600K. This is a very nice CPU. I'm going to be comparing it against the 1600X in our initial test and then we'll test the higher end stuff a little bit down the road. But right off the bat, we're gonna be showing you today is the motherboard and the stuff that we're gonna be using in our test bed. Now, I don't know also if you guys happen to see a video guys that we did a little while ago, we showed you this crazy game called Guns of Boom. Honestly, one of the most addictive ever phone games I've ever seen. I don't really like phone games that much, but this one honestly sucks you in. So real quick though, let's check out that game one more time before we jump into the video. All right, folks, I usually would not say this, but I can honestly say I haven't played a mobile game quite like Guns of Boom ever before. I mean, it's a first-person PC shooter game only on your mobile device. And with non-stop player versus player action, including clan battles, you can get that desktop PC shooter feel right in the palm of your hands. And the controls are super easy and simple to use. Shooting and moving around the map was a blast. And with the auto fire option, all you have to do is get the enemy within your sights and then and watch them get blown away. And for an extra challenge, you can turn auto fire off, but even when it was turned off, I could still easily move around and unleash the lead. Speaking of lead, Guns of Boom has a massive selection of weapons, from rifles, machine guns, and shotguns to pistols, knives, and even grenades. This game has it all. You can even collect skins for your guns or customize your character with different masks and costumes. Play Guns of Boom to collect them all. And best of all, you can get Guns of Boom today at Amazon, Google Play, or the App Store. Honestly, if you're into first-person shooters and you love phone games, you've got to check out Guns of Boom. We'll have a link down below for you people to check it out and download it for yourself. Now, right off the bat, our test system starts off with a really nice motherboard from Gigabyte. This is their brand new Z370 Aorus Ultra Gaming motherboard. Now, this motherboard is not the total top-of-the-line motherboard, but it's not the bottom either. It's kind of like right there in the middle. Motherboard has a lot of nice features. There's plenty of room around the socket for you to install all your coolers and another great thing though about this launch even though you do have to buy a new motherboard you can still use all of your old 1151 coolers on these boards so so even though you might have to buy a new board you can still use your existing cooler as far as PCI slots go on the motherboard, there are six altogether. There's a 16x, a 8x, and a 4x PCIe, and there's also three 1x slots. The board also supports 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. It supports all the latest overclocking memory and also XMP profiles. As far as video card support goes, you can do Crossfire and SLI configurations as well on this board. The audio on board, although it's not the absolute best, it's still pretty decent. It's the Realtek ALC 1220 chipset featuring 7.1 HD audio. The Aorus Z370 also features RGB fusion on the motherboard. So if you're a builder looking to have one on the motherboard that just has that little bit of extra bling, this board definitely has that. Even though I'm not gonna give you guys the full blown review of this motherboard this time, because I wanna be able to do that with the scores, I just gotta say it, this motherboard is built like a tank. It has all of the great Aorus cooling and all the features that come with that series of motherboards and all at a pretty great price. The memory we're using in our test system is the Corsair Dominator Platinum Series 16 gigabyte kit. Now this is two eight gigabyte sticks at 3000 megahertz. This memory is a little bit pricey, but it's also very, very fast. Now the cooler that we use for this test system is really, really kind of strange. It's the Zalman Reservator. And this thing's kind of crazy because instead of having your standard reservoir, it actually works off a different type of technology and it does keep the CPU very, very cool. And I think you guys will be surprised how cool when you guys see the test results. But even though this product is something that's kind of crazy looking and not the traditional style thing, it actually works pretty doggone well. The SSD that we used in our test system is a little bit pricey. The Kingston HyperX 240 gigabyte drive, I don't know why it's really kind of high priced, but we already had it in here in the house, we decided to use it. But we'll have links to much better priced drives for you guys down below. 
For our test system, I wanted a power supply that wasn't completely overboard, but would not have enough power to, you know, handle SLI or crossfire if I needed it. So we chose the Seasonic Focus Plus Series SSR 850FX power supply. Now this is 80 plus gold power supply, has a really nice warranty. It's completely modulated and this thing's just really nice and priced well at 109 bucks. Like I said before, folks, we all know that in a lot of ways, Cabby Lake was just kind of a total fail and a disappointment. And I know that many of us are really hoping that Coffee Lake is going to change the game. I'm hoping it does just because I like technology and the newer the technology, I'm always going to be hoping it's better than the last generation, right? We all hope that. So our first battle, like I said, i5 8600K versus the Ryzen 1600X. All right, folks, so there you have it. Everything that we're going to be using when the NDA lifts on October 5th for our test system for the brand new 8th generation Intel CPUs. Hopefully, in these dollar-to-dollar -dollar tests that we're going to be doing, we will find out who the new winner is. Will it be the Coffee Lake CPUs from Intel, or will all the Ryzen CPUs still be dominating for the mainstream? I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow, man. We'll have links to all those different products that we're using in our test system down below, so if you want to duplicate it and do it for yourself or build a system around it, you you can do it. Peace out.